Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Welcome to another episode of Weekly Rex, episode 36. Before we get ready, let's introduce ourselves. Coming over here, Crimson Chris with your DC reviews as always. And over here, Joel Shear with your Marvel reviews. And I'm the Ultimate B-Man. Also, we have J. Jonah Jesse and the Invincible Gomer reviewing some of their comic books for a week. Let's get it started. Alright guys, Jules True with your Marvel reviews. I'll start the week with Superior Spider-Man, issue 24, Dan Slot, you're still a terrible person. You gave Superior Spider-Man the Venom suit. It was just okay, it was a wait for the trade. Next, I have Indestructible Hulk, issue 17, Mark Wade. I love everything about this issue. You give me some of the best minds, you give me a lot of action, but not a lot of action. It was kind of still a wait for the trade. Then I have all new X-Men, issue 20, Brian Michael Bendis. It was awesome, pick it up in the singles. My favorite for the week was Uncanny Avengers issue 15. Remender and McNiven do exactly what you want in this issue. They start out the Ragnarok now, and it's just wonderful. Pick it up in the singles. If you haven't touched this title, you're missing out on a lot. Christian, good night, Kobe, and tell me what you got with DC. All right, guys, thanks, Jules. Merry Christmas, everyone. Today, I'm going to start off with a very first for myself. It's going to be Harley Quinn issue number one. What I can say about this issue is, it's just okay. The art is amazing, but the story just really seems to lack. It's trying to be a Deadpool title, and I'm not sure if I like it. I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to wait about two or three issues and I'll let you guys know what's up. But for right now, it's a wait for the trade. Next, I got Vibe issue 10 coming up. It's, uh, it's the story that's coming close to an end. Uh, Vibe is about to wrap up. We're almost done with it. Vibe looks a lot like Jules True, doesn't he? Go ahead. You know it's true. But this story, it's getting a little bit better, but it's, it's so close to the end, I don't know if everybody will like it. So this might also be a wait for the trade. Next, I have Batman and Two-Face, issue 26. It's a very interesting plot. I like what's going on with the two characters. I like what's going on with Two-Face. I would highly recommend it to anybody who cares about Two-Face whatsoever. It's a pick up in the singles. And the last but not least is my favorite of the week, guys. It is Batman Beyond Universe, issue number five. Go ahead and pick that up. I love it. Um, it shows a lot of old stuff that you like in the old Batman animated series. It's got a lot of Batman Beyond in it, of course. And then on the Justice League side of it, we have Brainiac's return, and it's actually very good. I actually like it. Every time I have Brainiac come back, it's a good thing. So pick this one up in the singles. I highly recommend it. Keep up with this series. What you got for me, Ultimate One? All right, thank you, Crimson. Now, up next, it's your boy, the Ultimate Bean Man, with a trade back throwback for the week. American Vampire made by Scott Snyder. Uh, I have to say, I gave this book a couple of reads about twice, and I love it. It's got about three different stories going on. First up, we got Skinner Sweet, who apparently is a cowboy from the 1880s. He apparently was an ordinary dude, a city of basically a cowboy who was an outlaw and he got turned into a vampire unsuspectedly and the way you get turned into a vampire is kind of weird um, you can either get bit or you can either get the blood into your body and you instantly become a vampire he goes on a complete rampage trying to get back at this vampire cult but it goes it speeds into about 1925 a young lady named Pearl who gets turned into a vampire and she goes on a complete rampage as well to try to get revenge on the exact cult Skinner Sweet is. So apparently she's kind of doing his dirty work. I have to say the artwork is very good. The story just keeps dragging you in and it keeps wanting you more. So I have to say this is absolutely an ultimate pickup. So for y'all, enjoy. And also, Merry Christmas. And what you got for me, J. Jonah Jesse? Thanks, B. This week in Indie Reviews, we got a first one, Ghost Number 1, Deconic, Sabella, and Sue. Sabella and Deconic split the thing on uh, writing it, but Sabella's a newcomer, does a good job. I would say pick it up. Next up, we got another Deconic title, Pretty Deadly Number 3. It continues to be good. I really like where this is going, and I want to see more. Singles as well. Zero Number 4 different artist as their MO is these days, but every time, pretty solid. I'm enjoying it. I would say if you're into the espionage style thing, pick it up in the singles. My main review is Saga number 17. I love everything about this, but Brian K. Vaughn hates you, screws you over, and you love every second of it. It's just, 
he's pretty much the George R.R. Martin of comics at this point, if you catch my meaning on that. It's great. You need to be reading this title. That's it for my indie reviews. Gomer, what you got for us? Oh, hi. It's Gomer. Got some holiday blast from the past for you. Weekly Rexters. This is a classic right here. Full cover. We've got the Art Adams cover right here. Christmas Marvel Special 1993. It's got an original Stanley Spidey going on. It's so fun. Another one, DC Holiday 2009. This one is another blast from the past. Billy Tucci doing Sergeant Rock. Anybody would want that in their Christmas stocking. And you can't have Xmas without an X-Man. And look it, it's Wolverine in a Sandy costume. It's so good. He goes shopping at the mall and finds all kinds of trouble. That's it. I hope everyone has a good Christmas. Shh, Santa's coming. Today I got a game for you that's good for the family. It goes up to eight players. It's a card game called Citadels. It's good for ages 13 and up. It's 20 to 60 minutes, and it plays a little differently every time. The way it plays is over a series of rounds where each round you choose an action and you choose the action of being a certain type of character and each character has a special power. Now, you don't know what characters you're going to have the option to get because some of them will randomly be discarded depending on the number of players you have. Now, that adds for more, ver more versatility and the base set now comes with an expansion where you have even more characters in there. So that way you can have even more versatility and replayability. Uh, up to eight players, or even you can play in expanded mode with nine players. It's basically the first person to build their city. Real simple to do. It's a competitive race type setup. You're building a district or blowing up somebody else's district. But it's quick enough to learn and there's enough strategy that you can play with almost everybody in your family and still have fun. The art's amazing, great game, one of my personal favorites. It's good for not so hardcore gamers. You don't have to be a super strategy game fan to play it. So it's good for all those visiting relatives that haven't played played games before. Yeah. If you get them to play Uno or Skipbo, they'll love this game. And you'll love it because it's better than Uno or Skipbo. That's all, and Merry Christmas and good night, right. Elaine. Oh, hey! Well, Weekly Rexters, that's another one in the bag. This one's been full of holiday merriment cheer and a lot of comic book reviews. We're coming at you live, but recorded. Comic City 2, Madison, Tennessee. Son of Matty! Check them out, ComicCity2.com. Also, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Weekly Rex. And also, before we leave, we wanted to let you guys know that you can comment below on this video. Let us know what you guys think, and tell us what you want us to review for the next upcoming episode. Also, give us feedback, and check out the podcast, OutrightGeekery.com, Geese of the Square Table. Have a good night, guys, and Merry Christmas Merry to all Christmas. of you. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho!